This is my uh, USB DAC. Dragonfly Cobalt from Audio Quest. $300. It makes the uh, sound better out of uh, you know your uh, USB ports for your computer or your smartphone. And then you just hook up your headphones here. And it, it, it does. I, you know, I hook up my headphones. You know, the uh, 3.5 millimeter right into my my um, headphone jack of my phone. And it sounds okay. You know, it's just like regular fidelity. See, you know, nothing hi-fi or nothing, but it's just regular music. But when I hook it up to my DAC here, and then plug this into my phone, obviously my phone doesn't have a big USB that, so uh, AudioQuest, um, with this purchase, they give, give you a, a little adapter, because my phone has a C, USB-C, um, uh, input. So this is the uh, USB A, I guess, and all this does is hook into here, and uh, and then this hooks into uh, my phone, and then I plug my headphones in in here, and the music, even just regular music like you know from uh, YouTube Music or Pandora or Spotify or Cobuzz, or Tidal, any any music service, anything really coming out, just watching regular videos, you know, like on Voodoo or something, everything sounds much, much better, it's cause, because the DAC was made to make audio sound better. You know, when they put in, you know, these audio circuits in uh, phones, they, they're, they're about the phones, they're about the camera, they're about the technology, about you know, voice and stuff like that. Maybe even the screen there, you know, the screen's a real important resolution, but audio, not so much. So that's why you can get DACs for uh, better music playback and streaming, even high res music. I can get high resolution music out of this DAC up to 92, uh, <clears throat> 96 kilohertz at 24 bit. So that's pretty good. I mean, it, I mean, I can get high resolution music off this. I use Cobuzz mostly. Tidal, I'm still on the fence about that because the MQA stuff. But uh, Cobuzz is a really good uh, streaming service for what I for what I use because they got a lot of high res music. Um, you know, that kind of just tops out at 96k, 24 bit. They do have some 192 stuff. Um, but uh, this works. This is actually, it just sounds awesome. So I did subscribe to Cobuzz, you know, their uh, studio premiere, which has high res uh, music, um, high res audio. So I'm getting high res audio out of this. And even the, you know, the app and everything, the Cobuzz app, mobile app, says what uh, file it's, uh, what files it has, and then what your. Uh, <clears throat> what your DAC is uh, rendering at. So it always, it pretty much matches. You know, obviously, you know, not every single high res uh, uh, file that Cobus has is, you know, 96, but it, sometimes it's 44.1, 24-bit, which is right there just above CD quality, I think, or right at CD quality. And even that, that CD quality sounds awesome through the DAC. It just sounds... Everything just sounds, sounds, sounds better. I love it. Yeah, it's expensive. You can get less expensive DACs, dongle DACs for your phone or PC, you know. Um, but this is just real convenient. I mean, look how small it is. It's like a little USB stick. You can carry it in your pocket and plug it in, you know, to your, uh, you know, your headphones are dangling down the side of your ears, you know. And, uh, you just fits in your pocket. It's pretty cool. I love it. It's a good purchase. Um, I can get, you know, really good 
uh, quality music out of it. And uh, I think the next thing I want to do is kind of get, maybe upgrade my headphones, even though these are my gaming headphones. Well, they're not really gaming headphones. They're not. Ga I use them for my uh, Xbox, but they're actually Crusher wireless. They're for you know they're Bluetooth and wired uh, music. You know, headphones, they're about $300, you know, so. Well, maybe 200 now, I don't know. These are an older model, I think. I got last year or year before. And, uh, but this is it. This is pretty cool. I ordered this while I was here in the hospital. And, uh, Anna brought it to me. And so I could, uh, you know, tinker around with it. Just a little toy to mess around with while I'm staying here. I've been here 12 days now. So, um, with my music, my phone, and my cable TV, and all these snacks that Anna's been bringing me, my stay has been very, very, uh, um, it hasn't been too bad. I mean, I, I don't really have any complaints, you know? I mean, I'll stay here as long as the doctors want me to. Um, I, I'm eager to go home now because it's almost going on two weeks. Let's see, today, well, oh, it's a week and a half because today's Monday. I got here Thursday, so Thursday, this Thursday will be two weeks. So it's just a week and a half, really. But, uh, I, yeah, I'm ready to go home. And uh, my breathing's fine. They had me on a high-flow oxygen for a week. And, uh, well, just they still have me on it right now, but they're trying the new in-between mask. You know, you go to a high flow, and then you go to a, a, like a middle flow, I guess you would call it. High flow is anywhere from 60, you know, to 40, to anywhere from 60 uh, liters per minute to down to, uh, you know, 35, 35, 30. And then they start to, they wean you off that, and then they try to get you to get to this middle mask, which is... She put me on it, and I think I'm doing like 13 liters. And then once I get down to six, that's where it's like really low flow. That was that that oxygen barely comes out. I think those are the ones where you see people carry those little green oxygen cylinders around, and they got the little, they you know the little uh, things going up their nose, and they just it just it just puts out a little bit of oxygen just to help you if you need oxygen, you know. And I can hook it up to my CPAP at home. But, uh, yeah, that's where I am right now on, uh, on this oxygen stuff. Hopefully the doctor's, doctor's been saying that he, will, you know, wanted me out last night like, during the weekend, you know, like Friday or Saturday, then it was Sunday, now it's Monday. And now it might be Tuesday, I don't know. I think once the doctor sees it, I'm on this, uh, metal mask he's probably going to discharge me tomorrow you know i know i'm ready to go home i know anna wants me to come home she's been at home for two weeks um, by herself well, a week and a half but even before that i was isolated in our home for 10 days you know she was in the other room sleeping in the other room and i was sleeping in the bedroom and we were kind of even separated in, so we didn't even really have that much time together. So it's been longer than that than that Ann and I have been, you know, able to go do stuff and be together. And uh, so now that she's fully vaccinated, um, uh, had the COVID and and recovered, and then I'm going to get my second Pfizer shot uh, after I get out of here because I had the first one about 10 days before I got sick. So I had some antibodies in me, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish that second shot. Probably get the booster in eight months, and geez, you know, should be all right. So that's my uh, update on the hospital stuff. But yeah, this is uh, this has been kind of cool to tinker with for the last, uh, last um, God, when did I get this? I think I had this, today is Monday, I think I had it since Thursday, I think I had it since Thursday, I ordered it on Amazon, 
and it's the next day delivery, so I got it that next day, and Anna ran it up here that next day, that afternoon, and I've been messing around with it with different music services, um, Cobuzz, Tidal, YouTube Music, uh, Amazon HD, Amazon uh, HD, for some reason Amazon HD is not working for me right now, I don't know why they got me on uh, the regular high definition, not high definition, but regular unlimited, even though the trial that I signed up for was HD. So I can't get any ultra HD music at a, a Amazon music service right now through my phone. It was working for a little bit, but it, it knocked me down to the lower tier. And they, they don't understand why. They were asking me, well, can you log into your account on another device and see if it's HD? I don't have another device. I just have my phone. I have a tablet, an Amazon tablet at home, but I can't, I can't get to it right now. I'll do that when I get home. But, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I mean, yeah, $299, it's kind of expensive for just a little phone DAC and a um, laptop DAC or a PC, I guess. But, uh, see, the thing about it is, like, when I hook this into my PC or even my phone, this 3.5 millimeter jack can go right into my stereo system, hi-fi system, because this is... This has uh, a technology in it where you can hook it up to your hi-fi system because it has some kind of a, <clears throat> you know, uh, a variable output. It has variable and then it has fixed output. So it's kind of like a preamp. There's a preamp uh, a circuitry in here too. So it, when, it, when, it, when you hook it up to a, uh, like an amplifier or home amp, it recognizes that and keeps it at a fixed level, I guess, somehow. And then you just... Then you use the volume control, obviously, with your home theater or home receiver or amp, and you'll stream hi-fi uh, resolution music, good quality music, through this DAC into your hi-fi system, which is cool, which I could do now. I can hook up my PC through a uh, coaxial into my digital input of my uh, Rotel receiver and get music that way, but... I got a big PC. It's like an all-in-one HP. It's really, really heavy, and it sucks to drag it around. Um, so I'll probably just use my phone for now, sitting on the couch or my chair, and you know, um, use the uh, the apps on my phone and have a long. I already bought it, like a 25 foot or 15 foot uh, uh, 35 millimeter uh, cable goes in here then goes the two RCA goes right into my uh, stereo um, <clears throat> but I didn't have this DAC so I wanna, I'm very curious to see how everything sounds through my phone and then I mean I can always get a smaller laptop even like a Chromebook you know or even a smaller like a Microsoft you know notebook I mean I could even get a tablet you know that has uh, um you know, USB-C. You know, because I think that everything's going to the standard. I think everything is going to this USB-C uh, standard uh, instead of these bigger USB -B ones. But uh, hey, that's it. That's 13 minutes, 14 minute video. That's kind of what I've been doing, just messing around with my toy here. And uh, glad I got it. I'm curious to see how it sounds on my hi-fi system at home. Um, I should be out of here tomorrow, Tuesday at the latest, man, I hope. Alright, see you guys later.